Holmes, you simply have to face up to it. You need to have a serious discussion with Kate about her origins. I can't. No more excuses. She will learn soon enough that Alice is leaving. This other hidden secret. She will not forgive you. She does not need to know why. No? So she will blame you for Alice's departure. Is that what you want? No. I, I certainly... It's as Kate said. I, I always do the wrong thing where she's concerned. Now look here. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Baker Street. Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. We'd better hurry. There may be injured who need help. He has stopped breathing. There is no heart. His pupils are constricted, but they are moving. He is still alive. I must act quickly to save him. Thank goodness. This man will live. Holmes, don't just stand there. Do something. Please move to a safer area, sir. Please! I would have died if not for you. with my bare hands. no visible injuries. Perhaps I could use ammonia. Oh, my head. Don't worry, I'm okay. Don't worry, I'm okay. Oh, shoulder. I'm a doctor. Will you allow me to look at your shoulder? Thank 
Please help me. My leg. I'm certain that Watson is far from handling this situation. Help me, my leg. I'm certain that Watson is far more capable of handling this situation. I would have died if not for you. Please help me, my leg. My name is Dr. Watson. Let me examine. Ah, it hurts. There's some extreme bruising. Bones appear to be broken. I think that an improvised bandage will do for now. One moment, and I'll fetch what I need. Now, let me apply the bandage. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks for your help. I've not seen a traffic accident you, like Doctor. this before. Holmes, it appears the police have arrested someone. Perhaps it is the person responsible for this disaster. Puddle of water and electricity. A deadly combination. What do you make of this accident, Holmes? Let me go! You're talking nonsense! Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening here, constable? Mr. Holmes, this gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true! How are you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. How? It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me legs. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, aye. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, Constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes. This accident is a little unusual. I need to concentrate on the details. I must include all the participants in the accident sequence. The rope holding the bunting was torn apart. A large section of it is now missing. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please. Not now. I'm in shock.
This is an absolute disaster. The old gas lamps in this square have been upgraded to electricity. I won't be able to release it with my bare hands. That's it. This technical cab was involved in this tragic accident. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this cart? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. What can you tell me about the accident? I don't know. There was a collision. I felt the ground. I come over all dizzy. What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. He stopped all of a sudden and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? No, no idea. An old sprung cart, which has seen better days. The pump. Those wardrobes fell like dominoes. This cab was set on fire by the explosion at the lamp shop. Celebratory bunting. Celebratory bunting. This horse was blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. A dead driver, another victim of the explosion. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? No. This jaunting car would be capable of traveling at great speed. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion. This mechanism played a part in the accident, I'm sure of it. Wasn't like that. That's it.
hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. This is an absolute disaster. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and... My all startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. This carriage was struck by the scaffold when it fell. That's it. The technical cab's sudden halt caused this disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? What a bloody carnage! Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. I've not seen a traffic accident like this. My poor leg. Mr. Holmes? My poor leg. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please. Not now. I'm in shock. There's a metal strapping. This crank has been turned. It's an absolute disaster. A tattoo. I suspect it's from a gang. Rasco. Yes, I know him. He's a small-time local criminal. This man was killed by electricity, as shown by the distinct mark on his hand. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. A pneumatic hammer. Mud. Oh, smells bad. This crank has been turned. Poor leg. Mr. Holmes?
This cab hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. The driver is dead. He was killed by the explosion.